Hello YouTube, this is Lemon9265 here. Um, I am here today with a little tidbit for those who like to do, you know, vanilla servers for Minecraft, um, for their friends, you know, and, and for, you know, small groups. Uh, one thing that I really, really run into when I'm, you know, whenever I'm hosting is, is that you have to leave up the server, you know, for people to play. Um, and you know when that when you do that you accidentally close it or it just is no annoying you know when when uh when you have that thing just sitting there you know cuz you have to leave it up all the time and it's a GUI so you have to you have to have that GUI on all the time so so I went on the internet and kind of looked around um you know I looked at uh, background and you know and they were talking about running scripts and all this stuff to to be able to be able to fix um the problem and I mean, don't get me wrong, running a script and being able to just basically hide the thing is a good idea as well. Um, but the one bad thing about that is that it's it's kind of complicated and a lot of people don't know how to do that. So um, one thing I did find out how to do is, is um, there's a thing called Power Menu, which is basically just talking about... Um, minimizing to the tray um, which is very very nice and you can do this with any program so you know you can do it with with any program that you actually have um, which is you know useful for other programs as well as your minecraft program um, you know when you just don't want them on your on your taskbar anymore but you have to have them on um, so uh, this is just you know kind of a thing showing what it's talking about and um, I'm probably not going to put this in the description but I just want to kind of show you this it just pops up in um, a right click button so it's just minimized to tray um, so let's get started uh, this is actually the website by the way that you're going to download from just Mediafire I'll put that link in just a quick download it's really really simple um, I'll show you it so you basically go and download and delete this sweet pop up um, you go and download you hit keep and it's going to be the power menu setup you're going to go to um, wherever you want to keep it I'm a nut about keeping my files clean um, so you know just save it to your save it to your files so I you know, have a junk file and I just did the power menu like wherever you want it and then just hit uh, put that in there so you'll have the exe which I just downloaded right here you put that into powermenu.exe um, and then you'll click it. Uh, I already downloaded it so I'm not going to download it again um, but that's what you'll do. So you close out that and then this uh, right now it's not running any out down here anymore so I hit power menu and then it's going to come up right here right so now it's running uh, and then let's close that guy and then let's pull up my desktop icons and go to my server stuff so you know everyone loves playing Minecraft Minecraft is awesome so um, what I do is I use a I use a GUI launcher normally, which is just a a GUI interface. And actually, you know, uh, thumbs up to the guy that created this. It's really really nice. It uses configuration and you know basically gives you a GUI instead of having to edit the properties uh, file, which is which is really really cool. Um, so you go back to the main menu. It says start. And normally for a vanilla server, this is what pops up. Or you know even for a craft bucket server, you know which I've I've run both. This is what pops up. Um, you know, and, and this one does a really good job of making it clean, um, but you still have to hit hide to minimize this to the tray. Um, but with this power menu version, um, I can actually go in here and hit menu, or uh, you know, menu, and then minimize the tray. So that's right clicking on just any kind of uh, bar, and you can actually minimize to tray. And that works with any, any program, but specifically my purpose would be just to minimize to tray. Um, so then that way, my Minecraft server and my MC server uh, GUI are both down here. So then I can close this um, and bring up Minecraft. <laughs> Sorry, I got a cold. Um, bring up Minecraft, hit login, um, and just to, you know, it's proof I'll have this running. Log in real quick, and. Let's see at my awesome creation, blah 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 blah. Um, let's disconnect real quick, and then let's also turn this guy off. So let's bring this up and hit stop because we don't want to freeze anything. Let's go back into multiplayer, and as you can see, it says it can't reach server. So as you can see, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing, um, and it's just running in the background. So awesome job on that you know and you just it literally it's like a two second download and it helps out extremely well um, 
you know, it's quick, you just bam, and then bam, there's no script running, there's no nothing, just like that, um, and then that way you're, you're good to go, and you can run it in the background, everything like that, and I mean, even, even if, even if you don't want to use like a GUI like I'm doing, you know, you could just go, um, if I can bring it up, uh, go like that, and then, you know, the, the, the shepherd search down, and then you could just do, like I have a, um, I have a shortcut in mind, so I just do mcserver.exe, and then I have a shortcut that uh, goes straight to it, which is this guy right here. So I can literally double-click this guy, and then it'll bring up my server, and then hit minimize tray, and then bam, I'm good to go, and my server is started. So then there you go. Um, and like I was saying before, you know, very simple, uh, easy to use, compact, and runs in the background great. Uh, and then. Uh, after that, you guys uh, just rate, comment, subscribe.